if you'd known me a year ago, which you don't, you didn't, most of you, you probably, I don't know, maybe somebody watching this is someone that I've known from before that, but I, you know, I, I was the same fucking guy, I just, I'm just, now, like, I understand this stuff so much more, I understand people, <sighs> I understand myself, I'm not lying to myself anymore. I've got this video technology to help keep myself in check. And these, these are like my notes. These are my notes, my personal notes, my diary, my journal, my, my notes on my, of my research and my thoughts. And I put it down and then I watch it. And I put it up online for other people to, to not to read. If these were my notes, I would be publishing them and give it, you know, putting them in the Internet. I don't know, but they're my notes, and people can watch them and listen to them if they want and try and make sense of them if they want. They make sense to me. Every time I watch them, they make sense, and I learn something, too. Like, I always, I was thinking about in the next video, maybe I'll make a video and then watch it and make another video talking about that video and then either putting up two separate videos like that, one and then a response like a... A breakdown of it and so you can see how I see myself because I'm not ignorant to it like when you see something in the video about how I am a certain way a lot sometimes I see that and I, and I agree or sometimes I'll see it like when I watch the video I'll think I, I don't agree with that what I just said I, I'm so ignorant in that moment but I don't talk about it I just register it and it goes away for the most part but maybe if I broke it down I would be get more effect I would I would really to speak about my video would let me see what I think of myself, let you see what I think of myself. Dude, how deep is that? Is that too much to examine myself that much? Is that too far down the rabbit hole? I, I watch my videos, but I don't really like watch them and analyze them. Well, sometimes if it's like that one, uh, connecting the universe <laughs> that video is fucking amazing <laughs> I gotta say that, I, that video is unbelievable I, you know it is very believable it really is it's just an amazing piece of art and uh, anti relusionist what the fuck is your name I can't remember your name right now David sorry dude I'll look it up but I haven't really talked to you much yet but that video you did with Rocket Man is <laughs> fucking awesome. I watched it like three times. Maybe more. Probably about three or four times. Yeah, that video connecting the universe was something interesting. I really let go. I haven't really done that since. That marijuana video that got 11,000 views. I, uh... I kind of let go in that. I did let go in that, actually. I was afraid to put it up. All right. This is just me going on to you and opening up to you. And I'll do that in a non-weed-induced state, too. Um, you know, there's a balance to it, I guess. Uh, no, not I guess. There's a balance to it. As much as I don't want to believe it, I want to believe that I can just do anything all the time. There's the balance. There's the doing what you don't necessarily animalistically want to do. Like monogamy, I think, is a kind of evolution. I think, I mean, exploring sexuality with one person and the aggressiveness of it. It's such a fucking dangerous line. You've got to be honest all the time about what you want and what you feel. And because the male body wants sex and... The more it has sex, the more it wants it. And it doesn't care who it's from. The body itself just wants to spread the seed. That's the danger of monogamy is you pretend like you're not going to have sex with anybody else and then you don't communicate with the person and then you fuck somebody else and then you lie and you fuck your life because you're lying to yourself. So my what I postulate is be honest. If you've had any kind of marital affair of any kind, if you're married, if you are in a relationship and you've messed around on, on this person, if you're lying to the other person, tell them.
tell them. It will change your life for the better. There will be chaos following the truth and there will be pain because of the lie, but that's it. And then you build on it. You rebuild. You, you, you finally start to build again. You can't build on a, on a lie. You cannot build a relationship on a lie. People say that and it floods over my head and other people's heads, but that is the truth. You cannot base a relationship on a lie. It is not a lie. It is not a relationship. If it's if you're not being honest, you have. If if your self-respect, if you have no self-respect in the moment, there is no relationship. There is no power. There is no affection. You're just lying. You're just avoiding the moment. In that moment. This is words of advice I, I offer to you. Take it or leave it, of course. It is all your choice. But if you've had anything, and, and I know it's so fucking common, especially for guys, this body, the body, just get it out in the open and go. It will, you're, it will fucking change everything. Living an honest life is the basis of like everything I want to do, every everything I want to change, every every bit of humanity I want to help, it just it comes down to being an honest person, and then in a balanced, honest person. Because you can't kill people and then be honest. It's not like that. You just you stay within the bounds of the law, stay balanced, change the law, affect the law, and be honest. Be honest with yourself with other people around. Self-respect is being honest with yourself and the key is to be honest with yourself when other people are around. Keep being honest with yourself. Don't stop. There's no fear. These people, they're just aspects of us and it's not worth lying to because we're just lying to ourself in the moment and it's not worth doing. It causes more tension. We die younger. We age faster. It's not worth it. Be honest and things will change. I'll see you. I was going to say I'll see you soon, so I'll say that. I'll see you soon.